In today's funny story joke, we enter the world of organized crime, where trust is fragile and secrets are buried deep. Our tale features a powerful godfather, his deaf accountant, and a clever lawyer who's always one step ahead. With millions on the line and lives at stake, get ready for a hilarious twist that'll keep you laughing until the very last word. In the heart of the city, where the shadows whispered secrets and the streets echoed with the silent footsteps of men who dealt in things best left unspoken, there was a man they called the Godfather. He wasn't just any man, he was the man. The kind of guy who, when he entered a room, you felt the temperature drop a few degrees and your spine got a little less confident. His empire was vast, his influence immeasurable, and his methods. Well, let's just say, you didn't want to end up on his bad side. Now, the Godfather was no fool. He knew that in his line of work, trust was more precious than gold, and he wasn't about to trust just anyone with his money. That's why he hired a deaf accountant. This guy was perfect. He could crunch numbers like a human calculator, but couldn't hear a word of the shady dealings that went on around him. It was the Godfather's foolproof plan. If the cops ever came knocking, there wouldn't be a single word of testimony to spill. But the Godfather, always thinking ahead, kept a lawyer on retainer. This wasn't your average lawyer. This was a lawyer who knew how to toe the line between legality and illegality so finely that he could walk it in his sleep. And, as an added bonus, the lawyer knew sign language. This was essential because, as you might guess, the Godfather didn't speak a lick of it. One day, the Godfather was doing what Godfathers do, checking his accounts and making sure everything was running as smoothly as a well-oiled machine. But something wasn't right. There it was, staring back at him from the ledger. Ten million dollars, gone, vanished. The blood drained from his face, but his eyes narrowed like a hawk spotting a mouse. There was only one person who could have pulled off a heist like this under his nose, the deaf accountant. Without wasting a second, the godfather grabbed his lawyer by the collar and said, Let's go pay the money man a visit. Today's the day he'll be singing an opera, and I'll be the conductor. They arrived at the accountant's house with all the subtlety of a bull in a china shop. The accountant, already a nervous wreck from the perpetual pressure of working for the most feared man in the city, nearly fainted when he saw who had darkened his doorstep. The godfather didn't waste any time. He pulled out his gun, a sleek piece of metal that looked more like a shark ready to devour its prey than a simple weapon. He leveled it at the accountant and said to the lawyer, Ask this numbers guy to sing a song about 10 million bucks or I'll start conducting in a way he won't like. The lawyer, sweating bullets despite his practiced calm, turned to the accountant and began signing furiously. The Godfather wants to know where his $10 million are. If you don't tell him, you'll be pushing up daisies by sunset. The accountant's face turned ashen. He knew the game was up. There was no point in lying. With trembling hands, he signed back. I swear the money is safe. It's in a brown suitcase, buried behind my house, underneath the oak tree. Please, just don't hurt me. The lawyer watched the accountant's frantic gestures, understanding perfectly what was being communicated. He nodded solemnly, then turned back to the godfather, who was staring at him with an intensity that could melt steel. So? The godfather said, his voice low and menacing. What did the choir boy say? Spill it before I decide to rearrange his vocal cords permanently. The lawyer, whose mind was now racing at lightning speed, saw an opportunity that was as risky as it was tempting. He dropped his arms to his sides, feigning disappointment. His voice was steady, but there was a subtle tremor that only the keenest ears could detect. Godfather, he said, this pig doesn't have the guts to shoot. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke.
by clicking here.